it's Marissa from LittleHouseLiving.com. Today I want to talk to you about decluttering sentimental items. Um, one of the questions that I get asked in emails or comments all the time is how do I declutter my sentimental items? So first thing that you need to ask yourself is why do you want to declutter? I mean, you know that you want to, but why do you want to do it? So usually people want to declutter because they want a cleaner house or an easier to clean house. They want to have less material possessions in their home. Um, maybe they want to save money by purchasing less and they feel like if they have less overall, that will inspire them to purchase less. Uh, or possibly you're downsizing your space and you have to declutter because you have to get rid of things to make room for the only the things that you can have in your smaller space. So those are some of the reasons why someone might declutter. Um, you know, your reason is individual to you. Uh, we've downsized, or we've downsized, we've wanted a cleaner home, we've wanted less of it. Like we've used all of these reasons as um, excuses to declutter. Uh, so the next thing that you need to ask yourself when it comes to decluttering sentimental items is think about the items that you're wanting to declutter. Why are they sentimental to you? Was it something that was given to you as a gift? Um, is it something that you have a lot of memories attached to? Is it something that is from a special person like um, an ancestor or someone that has passed away or something? Or is it something you just paid too much money for and you can't get rid of it so it's sitting around because you paid a lot of money for it? Um, it, it could be one of those things. It could be something else altogether. Uh, just like decluttering, everyone has their reasons for why things are sentimental to them. Um, so then the next thing you need to know before you start decluttering these sentimental items is that it's okay to not get rid of everything. Maybe you already knew that on some level, but you have to remember, like, if there is something that you are really attached to, it's really meaningful for you, or you find it really beautiful, keep it. There's no reason that you have to get rid of it unless, I, I mean, I guess there could be a reason, something that I don't understand or don't know particular to your certain situation. But in general, if you love that item and it is really truly meaningful you, to you, don't get rid of it. So I'm just going to give you one example um, and then I will let you go ahead and read the blog post on my ideas on how to successfully declutter those sentimental items. But so I have this vase and it doesn't really look like much, but this vase is something that I keep in my home. It is a sentimental item to me. It belonged to my great grandma. Um, if you read the Little House Living blog, you will have read her story. Um, her name was Anna. Uh, I never got to meet her. She passed away before I was born, but I have heard a lot about her and she seems like a very strong person and she's something, someone that I look up to. So I was given this face um, by some other family members and it was something that Anna kept in her home. I think it's beautiful. I think it adds a lot to my home. Um, I put it to another use instead of just, I, it may have actually been used as a um, pitcher back in the day. I'm not sure what Anna used it for but uh, I use it, you know, just for a decorative vase in my house, but I have a purpose for it. I think it's beautiful. And so it stays in my home. It's not something that I am going to declutter. Um, so that's, that's an example of a sentimental item that I've kept in my home, but there's plenty of things that I haven't kept. Maybe I was only attached to the memory that was in it, or it was something that was given to me as a gift and I didn't even like it. And I was holding on to it because I don't know because someone gave it to me. That's not a good enough reason to hold on to something forever, especially if it's causing you undue stress. So hopefully you'll be able to follow the tips that I've got um, laid out in my blog post about how to declutter sentimental items and you will be able to declutter your home to the point where you feel comfortable with it and you feel comfortable with what you've got left and it's not a stressful situation for you, but something that you're happy with um, all the way from the start to the finish.